victory for the ruling Socialist Party in Portugal's parliamentary elections, with early results projecting around 37% of the vote, well ahead of their rivals, despite falling short of a clear majority. Party leader Prime Minister Alberto Costa thanked everyone who voted and those who abstained. But he bemoaned this year's poor turnout and said all parties need to reflect on how to increase voter participation in the future. Those who did vote appeared to reward Mr Costa for the last four years of economic stability under his coalition government including reduced unemployment, a record low budget deficit and economic growth higher than the EU average. He said Portuguese voters had shown they wanted to stick to the past four years pact with far-left parties. But a scandal involving the former defence minister appears to have robbed the socialists of a clear majority and the 116 seats they would need to govern alone. Now Mr Costa has to decide who to turn to in order to stay in power. He mentioned negotiations with People, Animals, Nature, Portugal's fastest growing party. The Socialists' main opposition, the centre-right Social Democratic Party, came in second. But party leader Rui Rio said the result was a far cry from the big defeat some had predicted and said he would calmly consider continuing as leader. Euronews correspondent Anna Serapikos is in Lisbon. The Socialist Secretary General and Acting Prime Minister will be holding meetings with other party leaders this week to build alliances for the next four years of government.